to the top 16. Yes, yeah, so we've got an old school Corolla with one of the youngest drivers on the grid yep. going up against Erlinson in a new car who's much older. So yeah. that makes sense. So, so uh, it's, it's age and youth in a car. And so youth versus experience. Youth and age. Yeah. <laughs> We're confused <laughs> ourselves. That one out. All, that all one you out. need to know is that this is unusual. This is very, this is very unusual. unusual. And again, we've got it a, could a, answer an old time yeah. which was conversation. Better? Which Corolla, Our, which A86, GT86 was better? Who knows? Are modern cars better than old cars? Well, Stavros Grillis, though, out qualified Christian Oldson, but the heat indicator favoring Christian Oldson, you know, due to that experience. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a debutante. Uh, Grillis, he's going to be a brand new driver to this championship. Let's see what he can do. He's in the lead position as a higher qualifier. <laughs> has got 963 horsepower chasing him down here as they go to that first corner. But he can't catch him. Stavros Grillis is faster through that first corner. Erlinson now trying to wind in that Corolla through the first section. And look at this. Very fast through there, Grillis. A big angle. Can he hold it? He can. Erlinson's struggling to keep up with him here, which is crazy. This kid is a talent. Stavros Grillis debuting all the way from Greece. And you know what? He looks like he has been driving this track his entire life right now. That is an incredible performance. Hammers the throw across the line, and Erlinson close to an inactive chase towards the end of the run there. Well, if you go by what Kevin O'Connell said earlier, you know, when one driver is finishing the run and the other hasn't come to the second last outer zone, Erlinson wasn't far off it. No, Erlinson wasn't far off it. Look at this. Look at the distance he falls. He actually drives away from Christian Erlinson down on those outside zones and into this first decel zone. And Christian Erlinson, if I'm not mistaken, does have a straighten coming up through the back end of the circuit. But Stavros Grillis, what a drive. This young man. Well, if that's the future <laughs> of drifting, Dave. I was just thinking if this, if Stavros was to carry on this form, one eighth of all the cars in the top 16 would be A86 Corollas, <laughs> <laughs> which is absolutely insane. I mean, we thought those chassis were kind of put away to bed. Yeah, you know, yeah. The GT86 had come along and said, hey, we're more modern. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. Sometimes to go forward, you have to go you backwards. Go backwards yeah. yeah. Now, to be fair, that Corolla comes with about 13 inch wheels as a standard, and it's running 18, 18 inch wheels yeah, on the back. Yeah. And it is about a foot and a half wider than a normal Corolla <laughs> on both sides. But <laughs> it's still a Corolla. It's still old school. Technically. And the engine has changed and everything in the suspension. But look, <laughs> it's still a Corolla. Erlinson, I think he's, he was shocked there. He was, I think he was, I was shocked, shocked by the pace. Because I know how fast Christian Erlinson's car is. And I was very shocked to see the pace of Stavros Grillis' uh, 86. I just, yeah, I, I don't think anyone was ready for the pace of that car there. But look, we can talk about fast cars all day. I think he's just a fast driver. He's very confident. Yes, yes. His 80 score in qualifying would lend you to believe that. He's comfortable here. He's you know, not struggling in any way, shape, or form. But now in the chase position, will his inexperience in this championship, you know, will he go too hot? Will he make a mistake? Will he make contact? We've watched so many young kids come in and wow us yeah. in qualifying and then just make that silly mistake. And you can see uh, Michael Reihard in the pits getting uh, commiserations. From his team, yeah, those guys have worked hard. And, uh, and there's Felix. Yeah, so Felix, Felix Linval, Linval, yeah. Apologizing almost. Sorry, for the sorry, sorry I and, uh, made you break your even car. Even though <laughs> it had nothing to do with him. But uh, again, look, Michael Ryher will be back tomorrow for more action of course. at round two. Here we go, back onto the start line. Christian Erlinson uh, flying that Swedish flag with pride. This is going to be interesting. Does that will have the pace in the chase position? Well, we're about well, to it find looks like out. it does. Yeah, down they come. Now Erlson fires in the absolute stormer of a lead run. Can Stavros Grillis keep up? He certainly is going to be closer than what Erlson was in the chase position. Where Erlson not messing around. Big flick in to that diesel zone. Hammers on the throw. Does miss the outside zone, though. But now he starts to pull away. Oh, oh what happened? And Stavros Grillis has completely shut down. Oh, Christian Erlson just needs to complete the run, but as Christian Erlson got... Oh, he, he snapped a tie rod. Oh, look at he the snapped a tie rod. The front steering's completely broken. What so how happened? does this play out? Is it the that, first... So that, if, no, 